Hi friends, how are you today? In this video I am creating this here. So this is just the intro to show you guys what we'll be creating in this video if you're interested and you like chatty chatty long 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 videos. This video is 50 minutes and 16 seconds. Actually it might be 51 minutes and 16 seconds. So if you have the time um, and you'd like to listen to a chatty video and learn how I created this step by step then s stick around and watch the video and if you don't have the time always remember that there is a cog a little dial a little setting here on YouTube right around there you can click that and you can speed up the video and then you can speed it up for as much as you like you'll just hear me go faster so, if you'd like to see this video and see my creation, it's an inspired by the lottery card, the Loteria, Mexican lottery card, and it's right here. Let's see if you guys can see it. Right there. I have a few cards in random places. I have here, El Corazón, and up here is the mermaid, and I have it under glass. I guess you can't see it right now. And then down here I have the melon and la sandia. I have them all, all shoved underneath my table for inspiration. And so if you'd like to see this here, then stick around and I'll teach you how to do it. Hi everybody, how are you guys doing today? It's me, Secret, also known as Secret. I want to come today and show you our new, show you our new background and also start our loteria inspired canvas. So that's what we're going to do on this one here. Let's see how far we get cuz I'm going to be heading off to the gym. So let me zoom you guys in just enough and set up our palette. Today I'm just going to use this here. I don't know where it's from. Found it in the trash, but it's acrylic. So we'll use that. And our inspiration is El Nopal from um, the Mexican board game. And if you'd like to know how we got how we got here, there's a playlist called brushos and in that playlist you guys can find it so that'll be our inspiration and then I'm kind of wanting to start with whoops sorry we're going to use heavy body liquitex and like I said we'll see how far we get some yellow, some green. I have my shell there because I like using that shell. And then I have my rag over here somewhere. Mm. I'm going to use yellow. I will be using red. Some black. I need my green. Liquitex acrylic. So green. I have enough blue in there. Definitely going to need some white. This is fluid, zinc white, might be too watery, we'll see right now. Oh, I do have white, okay. Liquitex white. 
and that's it for now and then we'll start and see how far we get. Okay, I have my paint brushes here. Okay. Let's start with our yellow. So I want the word nopal to be here, and then I want my cactus to start here. That's good enough for now. We'll do them all in yellow. And then we'll go from there. rhyme or reason, I'm just taking it and going with the flow with these. And if you mess up, it's okay. They're, it's very easy to fix. Just very simple shapes. This is my first time doing um, nopales, cacti, cactus. I really like them. Just for inspiration. These are going to be the little flowers. I like to just invent my own flower. Okay. Then as far as what we have left over on the brush, I like to do whatever possible, whatever I possibly can to keep as much as I and I'll use this in, in other art. All right, so let's go in with white and some green.
think my husband's home and we're off to the gym. So this is as far as I'm going to get. And then I'll probably come in and do some shadowing, some more flowers. Clean my glasses, to be honest. I really do need to clean my glasses. And we'll come in with some black. those flowers and that's about it so we'll come back to part two and see you guys later bye bye okay we're back and I thought the camera was recording and it was not recording and I'm kind of frustrated um, not at the painting just at just with life, not with life, just with certain people around me at this moment. You know, sometimes people can get on your nerves, and that's what happened today. Um, and then to top it off, I thought I was recording, and it was not recording. The screen up there, the viewfinder, was black. I didn't hear it beep for some reason. I think because there was people in the background talking, and I didn't hear it beep. Otherwise, the same colors that I had on my palette I have stuck in the fridge. Well, the palette I had when you guys last seen me, I stuck in the fridge. I took off to the gym, um, came back, everybody settled down, went to sleep. I stay up really late because I love the quietness of the night. You know, you can hear your random truck driver, um, some random... Um, fire engines or ambulance or whatever. I mean, you just hear random things, just a few of them throughout the night, and then you hear the oddest bird come around, and, you know, little things like that that you hear once in a while, that usually in the daytime, all everything's such a chaos, and all the sounds mush together that I'm not too fond of, or rather have the occasional random sound. So, I brought out my palette, and remember the colors that we used here? I still had them on my palette. And then I grabbed my palette, and I grabbed this here. And I held this down here, and I had to grab my same brush that we had used. And I just ran colors together and went ahead and did uh, the bottom here. So basically, it's the same colors we used up there, we just used them down here. And then I went ahead and I grabbed my um, Stabilo and wrote El Nopal and then went over that with uh, Posca, the Posca pins. These are not mine. I don't own these Posca pins. These are my eldest daughter. She uses them in her business, but Jeepers cre Creepers, I've been wanting Posca pins for over five years and she got them. And I love them. And so I suggest if you've been wanting Posca, Posca pins for a long time and you can afford it, buy them. It, it's worth it a hundred times over. It's worth it. They're gorgeous. The white works beautifully. Every color is gorgeous. And I'm going to put, um, put a link uh, down below to my Amazon if you'd like to buy them. It gives me like... Uh, few cents for every purchase you guys buy stuff off of Amazon. Also down below is my PayPal if you'd like to give me a small tip. Just putting that out there. Um, what else? Let's finish this up. What I want to show you guys. Are my lights blinking still? Yeah. I like them to stay still. There we go. So Here's my inspiration, and this is my style here. I still want to finish it up some. I'm not completely done. 
So I brought out, I love using my coffee filters as a catch-all. Okay, so what I want to do is, I need the little thorns. So we'll pull out some carbon black. Excuse me. I have these little workout bands. I have a few of them around the house. My husband gets them at work. And I like having one here in my craft room and one in my excuse me, and one in my kitchen. And the reason I like them in my kitchen is because when I have a jar that I need to open, I use that to open the jars and add to open my paints. So I pulled out some Golden Artist colors in black. And I'm just going to pull out a few colors for inspiration. Some of these paints I found at the thrift store some of them have been sent to me. This one's light blue violet. I thought that was pretty. I want some orange flowers. You know what? Um, I'm a little annoyed is because I remember back in the day when we would when we would leave our mom's house, we would say, bye, see you later, or I'm leaving. You know. And it seems like, for some reason, the kids think that they can just leave. And all of a sudden, I'm looking for them, or I, and they're not kids, they're adults, but they should say, bye mom, I'm leaving something. And I'm just annoyed because one of them left right now and didn't even say bye, Mom. And I'm just super annoyed by that. So I'm just pulling out colors. I probably should have lined them up a lot better. That I would like to use. And then, of course, my whites. That's always the first one to to um, to lose is my white. <laughs> Where did I put it? I see the white, black, magenta, titanium white. Thanks. Okay, whatever's left over is either going to go on another canvas. Actually, it was going to go on a canvas. As a matter of fact, some of these paints were still left over, and I just threw it here. So that'll probably happen again. So what do I want to do? I want to get out of this funk because I was fine all day. Let's see, what do I want to do? mess with our flowers. Why I like to create flowers, just random randomness. Do 
Do you guys need to get closer? Scoot your chairs on up. I, I couldn't give you um, directions on how to do the flowers because my flowers are always just what I'm feeling at the moment. Very pretty orange. And it's funny that this orange smells like vitamin C. I don't know why it does, but it really does. I like the way that blue pops in there. And then let's. Oh, this one's pretty hard. I guess that paint's no good. Hmm. Not gonna stop me from trying to use it. Lots of color, very pretty. It reminds me of the Mexican blanket. So pretty. And if I feel that I'm done, I might be, I might not be. Let's see. going to throw some white in here. some black.
rhyme or reason why I do the things that I do. to grab the tip um, from this paintbrush if you want to see how I did this paintbrush. It's my favorite paintbrush and I did this design on it but I'm going to use a metal tip. Just to put some dots into these flowers. just to bring the eye into them. some black. And for what we're doing for this part is um, basically just going to make some X, X's here and there for the stickers. The Prickly parts, Y's, X's, whatever you like. Some dark, some not so dark. dryer's going off and that thing won't stop on its own. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, we were making thorns. That's what we were doing. We'll come back in and make more thorns if we have to. There is a hair on my... There we go. I think I'm going to bring it up like this. get this done faster. That's the thing with recording. You, I have to stay under the camera so that you guys see. But at the same time, I have a hard time seeing. I went too hard on that one. It's okay. And since I'm here with the black, I'm going to come in and shade some of these in very roughly. I like that rough look.
This one here is bigger, so it's older, so I'm going to make bigger thorns on this one here. Do they all have thorns? Yes. Okay. Some of these flowers I want to come in. Very pretty. I like how painterly it looks. Now I want to put some of the flowers down on the ground as if they've fallen. You going somewhere? To shower. You guys are done for the day? That's really cute. Uh, yeah, Nath is going to leave in a little bit because she's she has to be at the airport tomorrow morning. Okay. Mom, that's really cute. Yeah, it's pretty. Hmm. Thank you, ma'am. messed up a little bit right here so I'm going to try to pull it with water. There we go. Water pulled with water. We have kids on their last few weeks before heading off to different parts of the world uh, to go off to college to their dorms for registration and all that stuff, so it's pretty loud in the house. And they're saying their they're goodbyes basically for the summer. There's too much paint right here. Lift most of that up. There we go. We were sticking blue in random places, weren't we?
Uh, what else do we need? I think I want... Um, a brighter green in there. Oh, look at this magenta. It looks really pretty. Oh man, it's hardened in there. That sucks. That's a really pretty color too. I'll have to look up to see if I can find a way to re-liquify that. Um, what color is this? Is this the same thing? No. Ooh, that's pretty. Put some baby flowers. Honey's up above watching me paint. Okay. I think we're done. Oh, I said I wanted more green in there. Alright, let's find a nice green or a brighter green. This color here is Pathelope Green. I don't know what that, how to say that color. I don't care to learn.
Very pretty green. Sometimes there are little green baby uh, what are these called? Cactuses growing and ready to form. So we'll put some baby ones in here. Baby cactus. Some baby cactus. My mood is lifting, thank goodness. Probably bring that color down a lot more. I say we're done. So that's it for this. I will sign it in the back or in the front. We'll see once it's dry. But um, that's what I have for you. El nopal from the Loteria. Oh, and I think I wanted to put the number 29 up there. Or 39. So what I'll do... Just wait till this dries and then I'm going to throw number 39 because the card has number 39 and I might outline no I don't think I'm going to outline but I am going to put the number 39 up here how big will I do that let's see not too big but my arm is touching a lot of paint So that's basically what it's going to look like. Uh, I might go a little smaller. What do you guys think? Yeah, a little smaller. get our Posca pen, drink of water, I'm going to go in with white first and then some black. hasn't been started yet. That's cool. I'm going to put the, the moon here on the side on accident, won't we? And not a bad thing. 
because it looks like a kind of like a stirry night anyways. what fell off. Some stars. I don't even know if you guys can see. There we go, we're making some stars. Some of these are too big. Anyways, that wasn't even supposed to happen. I'll end up making a moon here. As a matter of fact, that just might be a moon, just like that. But we were supposed to work on this 39. There we go. Alright, so we're done. Where's the card? Here's a card. Here is my uh, impression of this card here. I like it. I like it a lot. It came out really, really, really nice. And what is today? July 19th, 2018. So I'll be uploading and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for being around and see you guys in a few days. Bye!